All right, guys, Cruz from Risk Taking Consulting again. A couple weeks ago in the blog, I talked about a hand drill. Had a couple real good emails come to me about that, asking me a couple questions. And they really said, hey, can you show us that? It kind of makes sense to us. We're really not getting all the details. So here it is. It's pretty simple. Once I have my gun in my hand, all I'm going to do is work on bringing that support hand together and bringing the gun up and having that shot break at my full extension. Things are important. I want to keep my fingers down and my thumb forward. That locks my forearm in place as I bring my hands together. When I do that, I'm going to come straight to the threat and I'm going to fire a shot. My head stays together. It doesn't move, dip, bend. I don't bring the gun up and drop my head. I'm staying forward in my stance, shoulders forward in my hips, knees slightly bent. The weight of my body is distributed basically even, so I can move and adjust. For this drill, it's going to look something like this. Gun comes out, good two-handed grip. Get a feel for my full extension, that's where it's at. Come back in, separate my hands. Fingers down, thumb forward. On my go command, hands together, come out, shot break. Come back in, decock as needed, if needed, separate my hands. I'm trying to fill this void with that meat on the palm of my hand as I get good grip and purchase. Again, I want my fingers down, my thumb forward, so as I present the gun to the threat, I'm locking in my grip. I'm confirming my grip all the way out. My lower peripheral vision is picking up my sights. My direct focus is on the threat, my lower peripheral vision picks up the sights, I see him coming to my eye, the shot breaks. Come back, decock, separate my hands. So hands together, shot breaks. Come back, separate my hands. Now regardless of where the firearm comes from and your hands come, you've got to get it to a center point and establish this proper two-handed grip. So I can bring my hands from high to low, doesn't matter, left to right, from the shoulders. You've got to get that grip, come out, fire that shot. It's a good drill to work indoors where you have confines of the indoor range. I'm within my shooting lanes, I'm in my booth, separate my hands, working one shot. Really good drill if you've got a 22 conversion on your gun. Doesn't really matter what you're spending for ammo, you could be doing with this an airsoft gun. All I'm working on is concentrating on getting that grip together so I know what that two-handed positive grip feels like. Present the gun to the threat, work the trigger. At full extension, that shot should break. On target, on trigger. Alright guys, if you have any more questions on that drill, by all means, give me a shout. Cruise at risktaker.com. Cruise at risktaker.com. So I did that whole thing and I just messed that up for you guys. Alright, so it's cruise at risktaker.com. Give me a shout. Stay safe out there. Keep training. Fingers so. down, thumb forward, hands together, drive the gun to the threat, break the shot, full extension. Come back, decock if needed, separate your hands. Important thing here is hand position. Fingers down, thumb forward, come together, confirm all the way out that I've got a good grip and I see the sights and then let my shot break. Come back in, finger off the trigger, off target, off trigger, on target, on trigger. So from here I start, fingers off, extended along the side of the frame. Hands together, I come on, finger finds the trigger as I find the top. Shot breaks, full extension. Hand placement drill.